Howdy everyone, today we are comparing the Canon RF 20 foot. I'm just kidding, this is not that channel, he's so much better than me. I'm just a, a twat. Let's get to the video, I know you have something to do, so let's get to the comparison. We're comparing the RF 24 to 70 versus the EF 24 to 70 f2.8. Is it worth double the price? Let's find out together. The way that we're going to do these comparisons is I took four kinds of shots of the same scene at four different apertures. One is at f2.8, f4, f5.6, and f8. Here I took some pictures of this amazing green wall. <laughs> and I wanted to see how grass or anything that's green looks from both lenses. Everything is in manual. All of the the corrections are turned off in the camera. On this shot, the EF looks a bit warmer than the RF, but we're gonna zoom in to 100%. And as you can see, both are really sharp. There's really not much of a noticeable difference. And moving on to the right side of the image, this is where we see, this is where we see how sharper, how much sharper the RF lenses are. Zooming into the top right of the image, at f2.8, the RF just obliterates that EF version. Zooming in on the left upper corner, same story. This one is much less noticeable uh, than the top right. I don't know. Uh, it might be just because of my EF copy, but I guess most of you who are buying EF lenses are going to buy used and not new because if you're buying a new EF lens, I would say go for the RF, invest a couple hundred extra dollars. Zooming in on the bo bottom left corner of the frame, same story. RF lens is just so much sharper. But on the center, where most of you really actually only care about, both of them look really good. Next shot at F4, both of them are much, much sharper. Um, the right side still, the EF lens is still soft. Upper right corner, same story, it's still soft. Let's move on to 5.6. Uh, for some reason, the EF lens actually got less sharp. I don't know. F8 is still the same thing. The RF lens just really obliterates the EF lens. Same story. On the center, they're both really sharp. Here on this next shot, my purpose is to show you how much barrel distortion and vignetting these lenses have still on the left ef on the right rf f2.8 both of them have crazy crazy vignetting and barrel distortion at 24 mil bump it down to f4 we see some improvements but we still see that vignetting the barrel distortion is the same f5.6 both of them much much improved um i would say these are usable even without the corrections f8 and we see both of them look really good. There's barely any vignetting or anything like that. We're going through it quick, but here is where I saw a big difference. You notice on the RF at 70 mil, the spider is a bit bigger than the than on the EF. I don't know if that's just because the lens is farther out because there was an adapter between the lens and the camera, but I had the camera on the tripod, so the camera didn't move at all. I just switched lenses, but this, the RF lens looks a bit more zoomed than the EF version. But as you can see, zooming into 100%, that insect is really sharp. Bump it down to F4, there's less vignetting, the same story. So the EF version over here looks a bit sharper, but that's because it back focused, so it focused more on the wall than on the insect. You see, let's zoom into 200%. You see how the wall is a bit sharper than on the RF, but on the RF lens, the insect is much sharper. And so I would say the RF actually focused a bit more precise. It focused on where I wanted it to focus on. Bump it down to F5.6. Here, you can see the same story, the EF version, focused on the wall instead of the insect but the rf grabbed onto the insect and i would even say the rf looks warmer on this shot for some reason here i took a shot of this construction site and i saw so much detail so i really wanted to see how these lenses compared i focused here on the middle where these green stairs are at and so we're going to compare them based off of that since we saw on the first image how much sharper the RF lens is on the right side of the image, 
Let's take a look at that. EF on the left side, RF on the right side. And yeah, same story. RF looks so much sharper on the right side. Um, again, it might just be my copy of the EF lens that's really soft. But most of you are probably buying the EF lens used instead of new. So you can compare your results in these sample shots. The biggest difference that I noticed though is right up here up on the top where you can see that purple fringing on the older EF version of the lens. You can see that throughout the image, not just on the right side. Right here, there's purple fringes on the upper, on the upper left of the image, there's purple fringing. And if you zoom over here where these birds are at, we're pixel peeping, but the RF version, I don't know about you, but it looks so much sharper than the EF version. But if you zoom out, like looking at the bigger picture, you don't really see that much of a difference. And I'm pretty sure your clients aren't zooming and pixel peeping like we are right now. And when we're editing, it's probably just us who will pixel peep and see the difference because, hey, who, who doesn't do that? But your clients, our clients probably wouldn't notice the difference. So image quality, I would say they're both pretty good. Granted, the RF is actually really sharp, but is it a thousand dollars sharper than the EF? I would say no. But what's actually the reason why I kept the RF and not the EF? Well, let me show you this. Here is a footage shot with the Canon EOS R with the EF 2470 f2.8 no IS at 4K and with the EOS R you get about a 1.7 times crop. And so you're looking at around 125-ish millimeter and as you can see it's really shaky. This is handheld and I'm trying my best to keep it still but still it's really shaky so I don't think this is usable. And here is the same shot with the Canon EOS R as well with the 1.7 times crop, but this time with the RF 2470 f2.8 with IS, so with image stabilization. And as you can see, it's so smooth. This is totally usable. Well, what do I hear you saying? Well, Al, you can put image stabilization in post. So that's what I did here. I added image stabilization in post on DaVinci Resolve and as you can see the EF version got a little bit better but it doesn't look organic to me. It gives me that jello effect that you all hate about the R6 and the R5. And out of curiosity, the RF version, I added image stabilization in post and just look at that. It's like it's on a tripod. It's mind blowing because I wasn't even trying with this lens. and. I'm zoomed all the way 125 mil handheld. It's crazy what you can do with the IS. So what's my conclusion? I think both lenses are good, the EF and the RF lenses. The only reason why I think you should invest into RF lenses is because of that IS and the future proof of your gear because I'm pretty sure Canon is not going to release any more of those DSLRs. They're going to move on with these mirrorless cameras and lenses hold their value much much longer than cameras like camera companies release cameras every almost every single year and so the older your camera gets the cheaper it becomes but lenses you can use this for years and so if, if you bought used you can probably still sell them for the same price you bought them for so investing in lenses is much better than investing in camera body but i, I did both I, probably a financial mistake that should be it for me. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, let's get better together. Peace. And by the way, how do you like that? How do you like that blue light? I, I realized that I'm not YouTuber enough if I don't have RGB lights, but that was sent to me for free and I'm making a video on that. Com coming, coming soon. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe, like, comment.